Hello, I'm Matt Koffenberg, physical therapist and owner of Perm Physical Therapy. Today we're going to continue our discussion of concussions. In our last episode, we talked about what a concussion is, what are the common symptoms associated with a concussion. Today we're going to talk about general management of a concussion. Why are we talking about concussions? Because concussions are important. They're huge. Um, a concussion is a brain injury. And remember, our brain is who we are. Our brain controls our senses. It controls our mood. It, it gives us our personality. Um, so we really need to care for our brain. And we need to know what a concussion is and we need to know those symptoms of a concussion. So remember, the symptoms of a concussion are commonly nausea, uh, dizziness, headache. Um, you can have dis uh, disturbed memory. Um, you might feel sluggish. Um, so be aware of all those common symptoms of a concussion as we kind of proceed through some of this general management discussion. So if you or a, a family member or a friend or a co-worker might suspect that they have a concussion, what should you do? Uh, the first thing that you need to do is stop whatever you're doing. You know, if you're a high school athlete, you need to not play anymore during practice or that game. Um, if you are injured at work, you need to stop working for that particular day. You need to be aware of those symptoms that we just talked about. If you think you have had a concussion, you need to stop that activity. The second thing you need to do is talk to your doctor. Make an appointment with your doctor, get a thorough evaluation uh, for that particular concussion. After an evaluation, the next uh, thing that you need to do is you need to get rest. Not only do you need to have physical rest, but you also need to have cognitive rest. What that means is you need to give your brain a rest. And the reason for that uh, is quite simple. So let's, let's think about this in a different way. If you were to um, sprain your ankle, uh, immediately after you sprain your ankle, within hours, that ankle starts to puff up. It starts to swell. That's an indication that it's been injured. We know it's been injured because we see the swelling. We then don't go out and exercise. We don't go run on, on that ankle at that point. We rest it. We ice it. We allow it to heal. Same thing happens with our brain. If we injure our brain with a concussion, there is swelling, there's inflammation. So if you look at this drawing, we've got the brain, and the red indicates the skull, and then there's space between the brain and the skull. And we talked about that last time where the brain is allowed to kind of shift and move. Um, the blue dots are representing the inflammation. The most important thing in managing a concussion is managing this environment. We call that the neurochemical environment, that inflammation. Uh, so you want to rest. You know, you've got the skull protecting it, so you can't see swelling. You can't really ice this particular area. The only thing that we can do here is rest. So you want to really control the inflammation through rest. The other, the other item, the other chemical that is um, part of a concussion uh, is going to be what's called a tau protein, T-A-U, the tau protein. Incredibly important protein. Uh, when our brain is injured, this protein is released. The tau protein is thought to then gobble up the inflammation. It goes in there and kind of eats that, gobble, that inflammation and gets rid of it. That's a good thing. The not so good thing is if that tau protein sticks around too long, it actually starts to gobble up brain tissue as well. And it can cause cell death within the brain. That is a condition called CTE, which is called chronic traumatic encephalopathy. That is what we want to avoid. The only way you can avoid that is by ridding the inflammation quickly. The only way we can do that is through rest. Uh, so it's incredibly important that you rest initially. Now the good news, remember, is that these symptoms will take care of themselves within two weeks 80% of us will be better within two weeks. Uh, those of us who still have symptoms after two weeks, we need a little more care. Tune in next episode and we'll talk about that. Thank you very much. This is Matt Koffenberg. Uh, give us a call, 218-346-2464. Thank you for watching Wellness for Life. Thank you.